Hey all, Al here with more Imperion Galactic Survival. And happy Friday! <laughs> oh, it's been a long, long week. <laughs> and so, um, as you remember, or as you may remember, uh, we were going to hit the research base today, and we do have the live stream tonight at 7 p.m. U.S. Pacific Time, so I do hope to see everybody there, um, and I do want to give a quick shout out to everybody that's been leaving the likes and the uh, the new mem the new subscribers as well as the uh, long-term subscribers. You know, it's greatly appreciated, guys. I do appreciate it, and uh, I hope to see more of you around, and if you can make it into the live stream tonight, hey, great. If not, I will see you... Uh, Next, at the next one, maybe? <laughs> well, we'll see how that goes. So basically what we're doing right now is we're going after the research station. I uh, want to try and take out the turrets from range. See, this is the benefit of having the... Uh, we were talking about the different types of guns you can put on these things. And this is one of the benefits of using the rail guns is that you can snipe from really far out. And you can keep your damage fairly localized, unlike with the rocket launchers or even the uh, the pulse lasers, where you have to get a little bit closer as well. Um, the splash damage from some of the weapons. Oops! Looks like I overshot my target a little bit there. All right. Well, I'm guessing that. Hoping the turret that was up there is no longer there, but it does not look like it. That looks like that is so oh, maybe. Okay, and then we do have one more turret right there. See if we can get rid of that. Yeah, we know that there's turrets inside shooting at us. We're not going to worry too much about those. Oops. Gotta go. Ooh, that hurt. Alright, so let's get rid of... That guy. You... Looks like there is one more down there. Is that the last of them? I think that's the, I think that's the last of the uh, actual gun stations. Everything else now is the uh, personal defense systems like you see over here. Guess we need to back up a little bit. There we go. Need to give it a little bit of room so that it can uh, converge. There we go. A little bit more damage to the base than I really wanted to inflict, but that's okay. We're fine with it. So let's go ahead and set this beast down. And we are going to leave the uh, ship running. Uh, how are we doing for landing? All right. Uh, yeah, like I said, we are going to leave the ship running simply because of the fact that, um, well, honestly, it's just too much work. <laughs> now, nah, the real reason is is because I, I don't want to have to deal with the whole. Oh, look, we've got a power. We even got a uh, alien core. Come on. It's always nice when they give us free stuff, right? Um, but yeah, I'm not really worried about losing any of the power that we have there right now. Simply because we've got enough on us. Let's make sure, yeah, actually we have more than enough on us. And as you can see, I've got a couple of cores with me as well. Because I'm planning on at least taking this place over. Oh, look at that. We even have a constructor over here. Because I don't think there's actually anything in any of these. 
Right, yeah, now these are the these are the big cargo boxes. So we're gonna go ahead and throw all of this stuff in here. So this is one of the benefits of having the uh, when they put alien bases with constructors in them. When you get to them, um, even before you take them over, whoopsie. Come on. Yeah, even before you take them over, you can uh, put stuff in the constructors. So it gives you a lot more space for uh, looting. <laughs> Pro tip, right? Okay. Oh, hello. Ah, forgot about you. All right, so. And with that is the core. See if we can take this thing out without triggering. And normally what I would do is actually just leave the core and um, that way you can actually you can use the entire base without having to worry about the power but I really don't want to deal with these guys. And you don't get anything for taking those things out but All right. So now that that is taken care of, we're going to come back down here. Open this beast up, and turn on the station. We have now successfully captured the station. Nice and simple, right? Alright, so that'll give us enough. How much power does that actually give us? It gives us 44 minutes. That's more than enough time, because what we're going to do is go finish clearing out this base now. And since, uh... We now control the base. We don't have to worry about the rest of the turret shooting at us. Of course, I may go throw a defense turret up there. All right, so we have all this. Look at all this plastic and electronics just waiting to happen. All right. So I do sometimes strip all of this stuff out, like like the uh, large powers. I don't remember if there's another generator on board, so I'm not going to strip that yet. Because I don't have a replacement for it right now. Tomato plants. Alright, so I'm not too worried about it. More plastic waiting to happen. Right, I don't need oxygen. Actually, I didn't bring any oxygen with me, I don't think, did I? Nope. Oh, one thing I didn't bring was the oxygen. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at all this loot. Woohoo! So, uh, yeah. <laughs> that was a, uh, a quick and easy uh, loot run, huh? Alright, so let's see. What do we have? We don't want you. We'll grab you. Because the antidote pills are actually more valuable than the, uh, the, the bullets that we're not using. Alright. Looks like they changed a little bit of the detailing. I'm used to, I'm actually used to coming through here and just shooting everything, so. Look at all this stuff that we can take. I am going to take all but one fridge out. Because there's nothing any of them, so. And that leaves us with the food, constru uh, food station and the... Okay, that is where we came in. I want to finish looting this place up. And uh, the reason I'm not t worrying about the turrets is because getting rid of them is a waste of energy. Uh, once you've taken over the base, the rest of it doesn't matter. Uh, they're actually friendly for us. So if for some reason there was a, a hostile faction in the game and they were to enter this area, they would get it. They would get attacked. So, we have a generator, we do have... okay. Since we do have two power... or two generators, let's take this one. Actually, uh... no, I need to go drop stuff off really quick. Let me go drop stuff off over here. Because we're gonna go drop all of this. Alright. 
because this thing's going to give me some resources that uh, mean I don't have to go to a particular planet to mine. And we want to grab that stuff before we go over to the ice world. So what we're going to do today is actually, um, like I said, this was just kind of a short stop off. We wanted to pick up some quick loot. Uh, I don't remember if there was a second gravity generator or not either. <laughs> Alright, so now that we have all that. Yeah, see, and that would be the reason why. Okay. Um, one metal plate we're not worried about. Anything else that we have just minimal on? Yeah, okay. Uh, anything over here? Let's check. Did we loot all this already? Oh, hi, buddy. Eh. We can come back and loot the rest of that up. Uh, like I said, I'm not overly worried about the stuff that we can get out of here, except for maybe the resources. Um... I think that is everything, right? Ooh, seeds. I actually want the pumpkin seed. Oh, what can we drop? Is there anything? Yeah, let's get rid of that. So I want the pumpkin seed. Uh, okay, I grabbed all of this. Okay. So now that we've got all of that... Uh, head upstairs really quick just to make sure we've got that should just be the yeah exterior portions right yeah go and we're gonna head up one more this is the uh, sneaky way in normally this is actually all in enclosed uh, what you can do is if you can get in close enough without getting <laughs> destroyed by the turrets you come in through here and this is actually an, uh, a maintenance access and that'll let you into the base itself um, but like you saw there's not a whole lot here it really is just a, a stop off while we pick up everything that we still need alright uh, what we're going to do now is take all of our power back Since we have successfully looted this place, and now we're just going to head down and uh, right, we already looted that, right? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that was the uh, the research center. <laughs> All right. And this is why I leave the uh, the ship run. It's just. It really isn't worth the <laughs> turning the ship on and off because every time you turn it back on, you lose another power pack. So it's just like, eh, it's not really worth it. All right, so that's Omicron. That's the wonderful, wonderful lava world. That's Aqua. Where it are? Is that the moon or? I think that's the moon, right? Oh, let's get out of the. Let's get out of the asteroid field. And, okay, so I think that is actually where we're going, right? Uh, no, that was... That's where we're going. Is that where we're going? Yeah, that's where we're going. Okay. So yes, that is the moon. All right. Omicron's moon, to be precise. And we're going to head this way, because this is the planet we want to go set up a base on. And uh, what we're going to be doing for the live stream later tonight is we'll actually be working on the base um, by the time we get down to the planet side we find a spot to, put, to place it I'm just gonna put the first couple of things down um, and then pretty much call it there oh, it's a plasma drone what do we have loaded we have rail guns loaded okay we don't want drones floating around up here or Come on, spin around, spin around, thank you. Ooh, that was close. 
we got lucky. Okay. Now, I did take some damage on the way in. Looks like my directional thrusters, and I'm assuming these are my, uh, my retrograde thrusters. So... Man. Alright. One second here. Let's, uh, see if we can change that sensitivity. Did that not take? Did I not save it? No, I saved it. It's just that bad, huh? Alright. Alright. I'll have to adjust the mouse uh, <laughs> rate of travel. Alright, so yeah, now that we've basically secured the planet, we are going to find us a place to set down, and that looks like that may actually be... And that is one of the bases we were looking at. Alright, that's a good thing. I'm seeing a defense tower over there. Is that the weapons factory or is that the drone factory on this planet? I don't remember which one that is. Seen, definitely seen a couple of defense places and looks like a hey, magnesium deposit. That's always a good thing. We're going to switch over to the miniguns because... Promethean, iron deposit. That uh, looks like a drone base. Nope. Missile silo. Oh, I haven't seen that one before. We're going to uh, swing back around. And what we're going to do is, like I said, we're going to find a place to call home. And I don't know if we're going to take one of the uh, points of interest bases or if we're going to just go ahead and set up our own. I've got the materials for both. But I do want to get rid of some of these drones as well as the base defenses. Because we do not want the uh, things shooting at us if we don't need them to be. You know what? It might just be faster to say heck with it and just smoke these guys like they are. Whoopsie. Okay, and let's make sure there is nothing hostile. Oh, we got a drone shooting at us. <laughs> that was, uh, that would have been entertaining. Okay, come on. See, now that is max sensitivity, and I can't turn this beast around. Oh, what's wrong? You know I'm going to shoot at you now? Come on. And down you go. We will just add you to my collection. Yes? Alright. So we're going to get out. Everything looks mostly okay. So let's go throw some stuff in storage here. So now that we've got all that stuff in storage, we're going to go clear out all of these drones that just dropped out. And um, I think we're going to start looking at maybe doing a little bit of a base raid here. So that's three. Got at least one more. 
Get up here. Come on. There we go. Alright, so that should be all of those. Alright. And, uh, yeah, I think that is going to about do it for today. So, uh, yeah, once again, thank you all for stopping in today. I do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you hit that like button on the way out. And if you have any comments or questions, you may want to throw them down in that section below each of the videos. I do my best to get back to you in a timely manner. Uh, but if I don't get back to you, I apologize in advance. It was nothing personal. <laughs> I just ran out of time. And, whoa, speaking about out of time, we got a bunch of drones coming in. So until next time, uh, I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. I will hopefully see you tonight during the live stream. If not, I'll see you next time when we are here. If you haven't uh, already done so, you may want to subscribe because that will keep you up to date when we're going live on either Twitch or YouTube, as well as when new content comes out. And as you can see, we got a bunch of drones after my blood. So we're going <laughs> to we're going to fight these guys off and then we're going to get out of here. I hope you all have a great day. And as always, folks, <laughs> be safe <laughs> and take care.